Right then, let's have a look to see what we got in this box. We are confined to the floor today because I've still got that YZ125 engine stuck on the bench in bits because I'm waiting for parts. So let's have a look what we got in this box. Now, I've already opened it because I forgot I ordered this. I forgot I ordered this. And uh, when it arrived, I was like, what the bloody hell was in this bloody box? And it turns out to be a pair of radiators for the old RM. Is Now, I bought these. These, are, these aren't any particular brand. Uh, they're, they're about half the price of branded ones. Now, I went to race spec and uh, they didn't do ones. <laughs> I, was con I was contacting race spec and uh, one of their customer service people, I suppose he must be, he was like, oh brilliant, yeah, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get you some radiators, we'll get radiators in stock, because we ain't got radiators, so we'll, we'll stock some radiators. I was like, brilliant, told him what bike I had, so they could make sure they got the right ones for me. And then he emailed me saying, oh, we've got radiators in stock now, go and have a look. So I went and had a look, and they don't do them for a 93 RM125. They, they only do them for newer bikes, not, not for the 93s. So I went and had a look on the internet and I come across these ones. Now they were literally half the price. However, they looked good quality in the pictures and they're also oversized. So I'll have a look. We'll compare them to the standard radiators in a minute. But right, so we've got one. That's the uh, normal side, the non-filler. The quality seems all right so far. Can't complain about that yet. Uh, I guess the proof will be in the pudding when I fill them up to see whether they leak or not. That will be the proof. But, uh, yeah. So, and also if all the little pipes are in the right place. But this is the filler side. So, never open when hot. Yes, yeah, in different languages and all, you see. So, we've got a nice uh, radiator cap there. Yeah, it looks good on the inside. There's no, uh, I don't know how to feel looking there, will you? Wee, there you go, a little bit. So, <coughs> that looks all good. So, we're huh, we're getting off to an alright start. I've noticed a little bit of damage actually, but uh, it looks like someone's sat there and picked out the fins. There's a little bit of damage on them fins there, but. Uh, Looks like someone's crinkled them up and then sat there and picked them back out again with a screwdriver. But, you know, I can't really complain too much about that. They look alright. You can see all the way through them. Uh, let's have a look. The welding seems alright. I can't really complain about that, uh, about the welding. It's not, it's not, uh, not bad. Now, if you buy radiators from, like... If you buy the radiators that race spec actually stock or probably any other shop they're they're more of the um they're not designed like this you can't see the open welds or anything like that so i'm going to go and get a standard radiator so we can do a bit of a comparison all right here we go this isn't off the rm this is uh, uh the yz uh one 125 radiator but it's more or less exactly the same apart from uh i don't know it probably is more or less exactly the same so you do notice it's thinner Definitely thinner. Oh, I'll have to compare it to the non-filler side. So, definitely thinner. That's for sure. Uh, so, obviously not comparing against whether the pipes are in the right place because it's a different radiator from a different bike. But what I was trying to say is that you can't usually see the welds. These are like I don't know what they are. Pressed in, I suppose. The bottom and the top are like pressed in, or whatever they are. So, on these ones, you can see all the exposed welds, which might be why it's cheaper. Maybe it's cheaper to do it like that. I really don't know. But I think it looks pretty cool. I've always liked, um, you know, showing the welds. Even when I was welding myself, I always like to put my welds on show sort of thing, you know, especially when they're aluminium. And these are aluminium, polished aluminium radiators. Very nice. I must say these are very good. I'm very impressed. So, the proof will be in the pudding. 
uh, whether they leak or not. I can't see any any uh, impurities in the welds, any holes, any prosity or anything like that. So oh, there's a little bit of prosity there. Just one little hole, one little prosity hole there. Maybe you can see it right there. Oh, where's my phone? There it is. One little prosity hole, but other than that, that's not going to be. A, I wouldn't have thought that would be a, a uh, in the way of leaking, though. I wouldn't have thought so. So there we go. We got ourselves two aluminium oversized radiators. Literally half the price of ones you can get from a shop like Racebeck or whatever. So let's turn it that way. It's the way it's supposed to go. <coughs> so yeah. I suppose the proof will be when I fit them. And I put a bit of coolant in them and see if they leak. And obviously when I start the bike up and we put a bit of pressure in there. That will be the actual proof. So if you want to see how these actually turn out. And how they actually work. If they work. Which I would hope they do. Uh, you know, subscribe and stay tuned because in the next sort of week or two weeks, I'm going to fit them, and we'll uh, we'll have a video on you know on fitting them and and uh, if they actually perform how they should do. And I'll put a link in the description to this video and that video, so that you can go over and have a look on the website. Um, I think it's AliExpress. I think I've got it from, and uh, and have a look. You can see you can either buy them in bulk or you can buy one one pair. And they do come as a pair. Yeah, some websites only sell the left or the right. And they're about, I think, about 80 quid for one for the left and 80 quid for the right. Whereas these were 86 quid for both. So you can't really complain that much, you know, if they're any good. I think I'd rather buy a pair than buy just one. And also, a lot of them, I've noticed when you buy them, they say they don't come with a cap. This comes with a cap. They come with everything. And they even cap off the ends. Look. See? So they do go to a bit of detail. So. Sweet. 